Here are some tips on what to do when you're on a group ride. Um, ideally, in a big group situation, you would uh, be with a bunch of people where everybody knew the hand signals. I'll, I'll put a link to my hand signal video so you can know the hand signals. And everybody would understand your hand signals so they knew what you meant versus being confused by them. Um, everybody would be riding in a staggered formation at a uniform speed with plenty of stopping room in front of them. But the fact is, when you go on a group ride, you're going to get a lot of new people that don't know the rules and don't really understand where they need to be kind of weaving back and forth and, and uh, causing mayhem. You're going to have some experienced riders who just don't care about the rules and are zooming up to the front and, and um, you know, going way too fast and not staying in one place. You know, ideally you want to be in a staggered formation with plenty of room to stop in front of you. Um, now, if you, you look around at the bikes that are around you too, situational awareness is important. Like the guy on my left here doesn't have any rearview mirrors, so there's no way he's going to see me if I'm coming up next to him. And you don't know for sure if he's going to weave around while he's riding or if he's going to stick in a straight line. So and you're going to have bikes that are old and new and, and somewhere in between. Um, I tend to profile them. So if a bike looks like it's one that's going to have problems, you know, potentially could, could blow up, I tend to give them a little bit more room. Um, there were some old 1930s BMWs on this ride that, you know, the little 250 singles that you know, maybe can do 40 miles an hour tapped out. So those guys would be zooming up to the front in the slow places and then kind of getting past in the, in the, in the faster places. And um, I guess just, just be aware, stay alert, stay alive, soldier, would be my, my main point here. And I... You can see here, I like to stay on the inside of the lane, so I'm all the way towards the middle median. And that way, I know that the motorcyclists that are riding next to me are only going to be passing me on my right, and on my left, I've got a little bit of room to you know, get out of the way and, and kind of find an escape route if something goes down on my left, versus riding in the middle, like the guy you can see in the middle of the shot here, where people are going to be passing him left and right, and, and he's not necessarily going to have anywhere to go if he gets squeezed by two people on either side of him. So the bottom line is, uh, don't trust anybody, uh, be alert, be aware, and uh, leave lots of room in front of you to stop, even if people behind you are crowding you, leave yourself some room in front to react to what's going on, and uh, have fun, don't be scared.